today some of the often clients say, oh, I have low back pain, and we're just going to cover how sometimes it's not necessarily uh, vertebral issues. Uh, we just want to show how different things can tie into it and how your tight hips might affect your low back pain and also how your breathing pattern might affect your low back pain. Um, one thing we notice and we've heard, whether it's from Stuart McGill or we heard from the PRI, the Postal Restoration Institute, is that how the psoas, which starts in the front of your hip and goes, drives right through you and connects into your lower back, overlaps with your diaphragm, which comes around and inserts into your lower back also. So that tie-in sometimes causes problems, whether you have a problem with your breathing can cause problems with your hip, or your hip problems can cause problems with your breathing. So one of the things that we do to address that, we take these, what we call the peanut, basically it's either two tennis balls if you're a beginner, or, and then you can move up to two lacrosse balls. The divot in the middle is where your spine goes. And Rich is going to turn around here. We find the spine to make sure that that spine is going to fit right here. So we're going to have him lie down after, and he's going to roll, he's going to lay on it from here. He's going to crunch. Some people, if they want to start off, all they can do is just roll this right up. So we usually start from the sacrum here, the base of the back, and go right up to the C-spine, right about right here. Okay? Cervical thoracic junction, sorry. So we're going to move up. The area we're going to cover today is just this bottom part here. So about from T12, to L5S1, and we're going to roll there to try to loosen up the diaphragm and the psoas attachments. So we're going to bring Rich down here. Now we're going to place this down low. He's going to lay back on that. One of the important things when you're doing this is not to go side to side because those balls should never go on the spine of the process. Okay? You want to keep it on either side and let that spine go right down the middle. So we're going to ask Rich to put the hands on the forehead, keep the elbows in. And he's going to crunch up. And we usually do three of these. And then what we do is just ask him to use his legs, pull himself down one vertebrae. So that would probably be like an inch and a half, an inch, inch and a half. And then we do the same process all over again. So after we finish with this, what we would do, we'd bring Rich over and we're going to place what we have here like some discounted volleyballs and we'll place it in here we're going to get Rich to breathe on it. So we're going to ask Rich just to flip over. So he's going to place it a little bit more on the right side because we know that 97% of people are a little tighter on the right just because of the way we stand and, and the attachments to the diaphragm. Uh, so we're going to put it more, a little bit more on the right side. So what we're looking for, we're going to probably do about 10 breaths, but today we'll just abbreviate it. So he's going to have his hands down here. He's going to take a couple of deep breaths. So one of the things we're looking for is him to come up right here. More often than not, people at the diaphragm's a little tighter are going to come up this way more. So he's going to come up, take a deep breath. And on the full, we want a full exhale. It's on the exhale where we're going to start pulling apart those little attachments here in the back. So usually we do this about 10 times. Be careful when you're getting up from this because all this diaphragm work some tends to make some people a little bit lightheaded. All right, so like I said, we're addressing the diaphragm, the psoas attachments in the back. So to address lower back pain, breathing problems, and sometimes some hip tightness. If you have any questions, come and see us. If you haven't sought to see Stuart McGill, go see Stu McGill because he has some interesting things on that. One of the things that he told us, we're not foam rolling anything up the lower back anymore or the upper back. So we stay away from the T-spine and the low back. You can ask us why, or you can ask Stu McGill why. We're hosting Postal Restoration Institute here in the spring. They cover this and in the fall. So come and see us, and we'll help you out with the back pain, breathing pain, and hip pain. Talk to you guys soon.